Welcome back to Ahmed's World Time Trek. In this video, we'll delve into Napoleon Bonaparte history of noble lineage and rumored scandals. In the late 18th century, Corsica was a land undergoing a transformation. As part of the Gallicization policy, the French aimed to assimilate the island's elite by offering privileges to those who could prove noble ancestry. It was during this era that Carlo Bonaparte, father of Napoleon, sought recognition for his family's noble heritage. Carlo's father, Joseph, had already been recognized as noble by the Grand Duke of Tuscany and the Archbishop of Pisa. Inspired by this lineage, Carlo applied for the Bonapartes to be recognized as one of Corsica's noble families. After tracing their roots back to Florence, the Corsican Superior Council officially admitted the Bonapartes into the noblesse on September 13, 1771. With this recognition, Carlo could now legally sign himself as de Bonaparte and participate in the Corsican Assembly. Additionally, he could apply for royal bursaries to educate his sons. The French state offered educational opportunities to sons of indigent aristocrats, provided they could prove noble status and financial need. Nine-year-old Napoleon, already meeting two of the three stipulations, was sent to Auten in Burgundy to commence a rigorous French education in January 1779. However, rumors regarding Napoleon's parentage would later emerge. Some claimed that the Comte de Marbeuf, who expedited Carlo's application, was Letizia's lover, possibly even Napoleon's biological father. These allegations were propagated by Bourbon and British writers seeking to tarnish Napoleon's reputation. Napoleon paid little attention to these slurs, though he did once mention that his mother had been in Corte, fighting against Marbeuf's forces at the time of his conception. As emperor, he even showed generosity towards Marbeuf's son and assisted Marbeuf's daughter, Madame de Bruny, when she was robbed during a campaign. As we delve into the history of the Bonaparte family, we encounter rumors and allegations surrounding Napoleon's parentage. Yet, the evidence suggests that these claims were baseless and merely attempts to undermine his legacy. Thanks for watching this episode of Ahmed's World Time Trek. We hope you enjoyed our journey through the life of Napoleon Bonaparte and learned something new about this remarkable historical figure. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more history-packed videos, and join us next time as we continue to explore the past and uncover its secrets.